So I'm sure you've heard by now, Aptera has officially announced which drivetrain they're using for their production units. This will be the Fisco AMR3. What's interesting about this is it also has the inverter and reducer of the gearing all built into that and it will power both front wheels with the in wheel motors on each wheel in the front. Previously, I had external inverters that were inside the hood of the car. So it's actually reducing one inverter, a little less parts, more simplistic. It will be actually be, the wiring will be shorter. The high voltage wiring from the battery to the, to the motor will be a shorter run, which was always good. As far as the power output, it's very similar to all three wheels being in wheel. This is 150 kilowatts of max power, which is pretty much what the in wheels were. About, they were about 50. And they were kind of saying that it might be a little less than 50 kilowatts for the in wheel motors for each wheel. So it's actually, this is going to be more powerful. So 150 kilowatts is about 201 horsepower. And then the, the torque is about the same as the horsepower, about 213, so pretty similar, but she's going to be very peppy for a lightweight car only weighing about 2,200 pounds. Ilafe also did put out a statement in the day this was released, basically saying that they're still considering the hub motor as an option for the rear wheel, making it all-wheel drive. That will come later. They're still working with legacy OEMs to adopt this technology, which is good. They're still progressing with this technology, which is great. This was also mentioned in an interview with Ilafa CEO from Aptera Solar. Just kind of reaffirming this statement as well, that they're considering the hub motor as an option for their rear wheels. If they do go with Ilafa for their rear wheels, this will actually be more powerful than all three wheels being in wheel. So pretty interesting. As a investor, accelerator, pre-order holder, I how do I feel about this? I let it sit for a few days before I made this video. I'm happy that Aptera was designing things in parallel to have this option for this motor and also the in wheels and they want to get this car in production quickly. So I, I applaud them for having the option to have this motor just to get it out there. And it's not, you're still getting a car that's just as efficient. The body hasn't changed. So everything I, I'm excited about with Aptera, the range, the solar, the aerodynamics, the cargo space, the two-seater, like all that, I still love. So I'm still looking forward to this car 100%. I'm wondering what the time gap will be between the front-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive. I'm sure we'll know a better timeline the start of next year. I'm... At this point, I am considering just going with front wheel drive unless there's a shorter wait time for the all wheel drive. Maybe it's a year. I might wait that out. We'll see. But I'm happy with this change. I, it's exciting to see the PI builds finally coming to fruition in these next few months and seeing this drive under its own power and fully production parts. So pretty exciting time to be an Aptera fan. And let me know your thoughts on this. Are you excited about the drive chain? What comments do you have on this? Let me know in the comments. See ya.